Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to Midday Prayer. We'll get started in a minute or two. Uh, wait until people join. So we'll just wait patiently and then we'll start. Welcome, welcome for those who are here. Just making sure I'm actually on. <laughs> okay. All right. So today I want to start us off with a poem um, that reflects Palm Sunday. And you can find the poem. I'm going to put it up on the, um, on the screen so that you can read along as I read it, but also um, so that you can go and look at it yourself for another time and to, to show where we where I got the resource, the source, okay? Um, good morning, I mean, good afternoon, mom. <laughs> All right, so today's poem is called Palm Sunday, and here is the link I'm gonna put up on there. That's where I got it from, um, from Journey with Jesus. Um, it's not, it did not originate there, um, but that's where the link is from the screenshot. And it was written um, by Malcolm Geit, I believe. Yes. Good afternoon, Kathy. It is kind of chilly out, but it's really nice still. It's spring. All right. It's supposed to get cold sometime this week. Not excited about that, but <laughs> um, all right. So I'll put it up on the screen and then I'll read it. Um, and then have I have a small reflection, very small. And then we'll go into a song of prayer, okay? Um, and today's prayer will be read. Um, and I'll share a little bit more about that. Okay. All right, so today's poem is Palm Sunday. Now to the gate of my Jerusalem, the seething holy city of my heart, the Savior comes, but will I welcome him? O oh, crowds of easy feelings make a start. They raise their heads, get caught up in the singing and think the battle won. Too soon they'll find the challenge, the reversal he is bringing changes their tune. I know what lies behind, the surface flourish that is so quickly phase, self-interest and fearful guardedness, the hardness of heart, its barricades, and at the core, the dreadful emptiness of a perverted temple. Jesus, come, break my resistance, and make me your home. I'll read it one more time. Now to the gate of my Jerusalem, the seething holy city of my heart, the Savior comes, but will I welcome him? Will oh, crowds of easy feelings make a start? They raise their hands, get caught up in the singing and think the battle won. Too soon they'll find the challenge, the reversal he is bringing, changes their tune. I know what lies behind 
the surface flourish that so quickly fades, self-interest and fearful guardedness, the hardness of heart, its barricades, and at the core, the dreadful emptiness of a perverted temple. Jesus, come, break my resistance, and make me your home. That was Palm Sunday by Malcolm Geit. Um, again, I put the link in the comments if you wanna go back to the actual website um, that I got the screenshot from. So small, very small reflection. <laughs> um, what's been really interesting to me this year is that we are coming into Holy Week and um, last year, it was a lot <laughs> last year. Last year we were most congregations, if not all, I don't know if all is the, the proper way, but most congregations were not gathering in person. And I remember that during this time last year, I was helping out with the Synod um, worship services. Um, so I was singing some and reading some of the narrative. And that was during the time where <laughs> I realized that I couldn't pronounce <laughs> Barabbas. I'm sorry, I know that I'm laughing ahead of myself, but I, anyway, there were just so, so many parts of Easter that it was completely different. I had definitely experienced Holy Week and Easter in a whole nother way that I had never even considered a possibility, which was doing all of the work beforehand, right? And this anticipation of the services being released online and joining in together with other people online um, to have Easter, to have Holy Week, all of, all of Holy Week into Easter. Um, and it felt so sacred and different and like collective because here we were all watching it, watching the same service across our synod, across more than the synod. I, I mean, it's online, so it was available for anybody to come and be a part of. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so it was just such a different experience. And this year, it's still going to be a, a very different experience. And I'm feeling the difference. I'm not sure if you feel the difference. Um, but Holy Week feels so sacred um, and so different this year. Um, perhaps it's because we, for first, we will be meeting in person. Um, not everyone will be in the building, but there will be more people um, here and it'll be a worship that's like not online, that's not pre-recorded, um, and it will be a different type. And also, there is just something really sacred about this moment of anticipation. Um, I can't put my finger on it, <laughs> um, exactly. So feel free to share if that's how you're feeling this, this week um, in the comments and just share where you're at about Holy Week. I just wanted to offer my own reflection and my own understanding of what's happening right now in hopes that maybe you two have some different feelings about Holy Week and into Easter this year. Maybe for you, it's more hopeful. Who knows? Just feel free to share. And I really enjoy that uh, poem and wanted to share that with you today. All right. The song that I'm sharing goes along with Palm Sunday as well. Um, it's called Pave the Way with Branches. It's in our All Creation Sings. Um, and which is our, I say our, but realize that <laughs> not everyone that joins us is from the ELCA. So my apologies. It's in All Creation Sings, which is one of the hymnals um, that has been provided through uh, the ELCA. And um, the text and music was um, written in and produced by Brett Hesla. It's a very like upbeat song. Um, 
and I really like it. And it, it gives the feel of Palm Sunday. Um, and then after I read that, I mean, sing that song, I want to offer a different type of prayer, which I, uh, which for me, um, it feels important, I guess, as we enter into Holy Week, this idea of um, journeying through this time with Jesus, journeying into this last meal, washing of feet, and hearing the full account of his death, right? Um, and then the anticipation into Easter of the resurrection and all of that being a part of the story and how we can and will experience all of the things, right? We experience the celebration, the protest, the sadness, um, the tra traumatic events, um, the pain, the suffering, the terror, the evil. And we also experience the hope, the joy, the possibilities. All of those things are all encompassed into Holy Week. And this um, particular prayer is a prayer from when we've lost our way again. And I would like to offer that as our ending prayer. Okay. So I'll do the song, then the prayer by Enuma Okoro. Um, which is also in that book that I've been reading from called A Rhythm of Prayer, a collection of meditations for renewal. And that's what we will end on. All right. I'm not expecting you to remember all of that. I'm just giving you a, an account and we will move on. All right. Here's the song. Ready? <laughs> Jesus is coming. Pave the way with branches. Jesus is coming. Hosanna. Jesus is coming. Pave the way with branches. Jesus is coming. Hosanna. Hosanna. Jesus is coming. Hosanna to the Prince of Peace. Hosanna. Jesus is coming, Hosanna to the Prince of Peace. Jesus is coming, pave the way with branches. Jesus is coming, Hosanna. Jesus is coming, pave the way with branches. Jesus is coming, Hosanna, Hosanna. Jesus is coming, Hosanna to the Prince of Peace. Hosanna, Jesus is coming, Hosanna to the Prince of Peace. Let us pray this prayer written by writer and speaker Enuma Okoro. Nigeria. A prayer for when we've lost our way again. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, sometimes it seems like we can't help but lose our way again and again. Our hearts long to follow you but you know the way of the human heart. You know how in our misguided longings, we veer off our journeying to you and begin to chart our own ways by false stars and distorted visions. Forgive us. Forgive us for all the times we are tempted by the hints of light instead of remaining steered by the assurance of light. Forgive us when we forget that we are already claimed by you, loved by you, and purposed for you. Forgive us when we allow ourselves to shape and be shaped by voices and words that do not bring life. Create life, nurture life, sustain life or resurrect life. Merciful God, help us find our way again. Turn us back towards the road, spotted with your, your other pilgrims, wayfarers, and repentant servants. 
Remind us that your way is the way of returning. Guide us by your spirit and by your light. Make us remember the power of the spirit within us. Make us remember the gifts of our minds, our hearts, and our bodies that you have bestowed on us, that we would use them to honor the directives and the invitations you lay upon us. We know that our ways are not your ways, and we thank you for this. Help us trust your ways over our ways. Remind us of your faithfulness as you forgive us our short memory. In your immeasurable love, grace, mercy, and wisdom, do not abandon us, regardless of how often we lose our way. Place your wounded hands upon our broken hearts and turn us toward you. Lord of light, Lord of the life, Lord of resurrection. Amen. Peace be with you. I hope that in some way you felt like you could at least consider what this Holy Week is looking like for you and like for all of us in this time. And I won't be with you for the rest of this week. Pastor Mike will be. Uh, just a reminder, we'll be here from today to Thursday. And then Friday, we will not have midday prayer because we will be having our um Good Friday service at noon. Okay, so you can join us live there. And I pray that this time through Holy Week, that if you feel in any way lost or seeking hope in what we are collectively celebrating and acknowledging, um, that the prayer that we just spoke will guide you in some way. All right. Peace. Have a good one. Bye.